Okay, so we got another Trophilist video for you today, and this one is Mr. Nobody 88. And usually I don't really pay attention to like games, games completed percentage, but just got to point out that it's just, you know, 51 unearned trophies. I'm guessing that could be a game that is just started. I'm going to take a guess at Silent Hill 2 as it's near the top. Um, but 99.14% completion straight off the bat before I've even seen a trophy. Got to give props for that. And I had a quick skim down just from the trophy cabinet i can see what i'm in what i'm going to be looking at right now and i am excited because these are phenomenal like the i, I love these kind of games so before we jump in just quickly want to say thank you as always uh, and just give you a quick update so obviously this is the fourth video within two weeks that i did su suggest a couple of a few weeks back i was going to trial depending on uh, how these videos perform may in may indicate a switch up where I'll do two per week again again in the future. However, with how my throat has been over the past few weeks, um, especially over the last week or so, I have visited the doctor and they've basically told me to make some changes. Um, you know, smoking. Uh, eating certain foods uh which you know some things are easier to change than others let's just put it that way we'll see how we get on but i'm hoping that the throat will hold out and it will be okay we shall see <clears throat> just clear the throat straight off the bat probably didn't help um okay so 120 platinums let's get straight into it we start off with a plague's tale innocence and a Plague Tale Requiem, both goated games. Uh, not the longest, not the hardest, but they are fantastic regardless. Uh, quite high percentages for what, what I'd have expected, but I think one of them, or at least maybe even two, uh, have been on PS Plus recently, so that would have probably boosted the numbers. We then got Alan Wake, which is, of course, uh, an absolute brilliant game. 13.4% uh, on that Platinum, 6.49% uh, uh, on the DLC. Got Alan Wake 2, quite a high percentage on that one, which I'm surprised at. I'm guessing that the Platinum is easier than the first game. Uh, and I know that you are working on the DLC again by the uh, trophies that were scrolling across at the top. If you manage to finish those, fair play, because that's a 0.18%. Uh, Alien Isolation, very nice, brilliant game, 6.21%. Not a good start, but I know that that game is uh, fantastic and I know that it's a game that I have recently brought and want to give a try, but I don't know if I could do it. I'm not like I'm, I'm not a skilled gamer like all of you guys. Like all these lists are fantastic. Like my list sucks in comparison, but fair play. And then we've got Aliens Fireteam Elite. Even without this little plug-in that I've got, I knew that this was a 9 out of 10. I knew that this was 100 hours. And you did the DLC just to rub it in. 3.76%, 2.21% on the DLC. Phenomenal. Then we got Alone in the Dark, uh, the remake, which wasn't received too greatly. I believe the... I'm still saying I believe. I need to stop. But... I know that a lot of people were disappointed in the remake, but fair play, you got the platinum. And then, of course, you've got Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. I think this is the original, or one of the originals. It's a 19.24% on that one. Nice job. We've then got Amnesia Collection, uh, which is 3.67%, and the DLC, which is a 0.92%. And funnily enough... Like, I know that there's a bit of time involved, but it's only a 3 out of 10. It's only 16 hours, and it's that low. I own this. <laughs> Let's go. Um, fair play. And then we've got Amnesia, Rebirth, and Amnesia, The Bunker, which I thought were part of the collection, but I could be completely and utterly wrong. Uh, but 10.24% on that one, 20.17% on 
the second. Then we've got Val Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, not the hardest of games, but just very time consuming. 100 hours, as the guide suggests. Um, four months and one week, it took you at 16.13%, and then the 1.82% on the DLC. We've then got Back for Blood. Take the hat off. I have got every single trophy except for the nightmare runs i have i've put like the suggested cards on i have tried just to get through the first act not the first level but like the first act set of levels and i think i got right up to the very end and then like i just got obliterated like as soon as one thing went wrong everything went wrong and i was just like i, I can't do it like I don't have the time to really, you know, concentrate on long ass games, like, uh, at the moment at least. Um, this was something that I played a long time ago with, with my friends, um, before I became a trophy hunter. Um, so the fact that I'm so close to it, and I've tried and I've failed, and it's like, I haven't got the time to keep failing. But it is one I'm going to try again in the future, once I've got a bit more time to myself. But fair play on that. 4.44%, 1.23% on the DLC. A lot of people say it's a lot easier now. I, I still couldn't get it. Uh, back in 1995, I have no idea what that is. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say it's a, a horror game. Uh, we've then got Bioshock. Bioshock 2, 14.62% on the original, 5.50% DLC. And then Bioshock 2, 21.82% and 10.21%. Both the PS4 versions. Um, I think it was the PS3 version, Bioshock 2 had the multiplayer. Absolutely goated. I loved that multiplayer. Uh, then we got Black Mirror, nice. Uh, Blair Witch, 14.32%. Even though it's considered an easy platinum, only taking 10 hours. I know that the collectibles are horrendous on it. So fair play for sticking that one out. We've then got Bloodborne. Very nice. As I've said on previous videos, I want this Platinum to be potentially my 100th. Either that or my name is Mayo, just to really kind of take the piss. Um, Bloodwash next. I have absolutely no idea, and neither does the plugin. Uh, but fair play. Call of Duty Vanguard. That Now... Out of all of the Call of Duties, I'm actually shocked that this is the one that you went for. But, I mean, congrats, fair play. 9.26%, 5 out of 10, nice. Uh, Cannibal Abduction next, no idea what that is, but it only took a couple of hours. Uh, Corpse Party, goated, old school, 8-bit horror game. I, I love this game, I really do. Loved getting the Platinum on that. I think I played it for like... A few hours after I got the platinum as well because of like the extra episodes fantastic and then you've got Corpse Party Blood Drive as well the uh, Vita game 17.01% on that uh, 3 out of 10 difficulty 25 hours we then got Cyberpunk which shocks me that it's so high up it's only a 16.27 but it's still higher than I expected and the DLC included 5.17% on that Dave the Diver next, 24.77%, a game that I have been looking at a lot recently um, because it was just a lot different than what I expected. I don't really like water or underwater games, but having seen gameplay and like the sushi shop or whatever it is, um, like in between uh, exploration parts, it, just, it looks my kind of thing. Uh, Daymare 1998, I've... It looks too janky for me, and I've heard it's janky as well. Uh, but fair play on that Platinum, 12.96. Days Gone, phenomenal game. Doesn't get the love it deserves. And the DLC, 1.15%. Beautiful stuff. <coughs> Dead Island 2, a game that I really enjoyed. A lot of people was disappointed with it. I think it was brilliant, considering it was in development hell for so long. I remember getting, um, I mean, I'm showing my age a little bit now, but I remember going into Tesco and getting one of the little pre-order slips for like £5 that you could get 
a little card and like you'd buy it and then when the game released you'd take it in and if i remember right it was like april the 9th or something like that it was due to release and then it just like got delayed indefinitely and then like years and years later it finally got announced again so i brought it day one and i enjoyed it i did like yes the original dead islands are better but i still enjoyed it and speaking of the original dead island we got the definitive edition 6.53% 3.47% the dlc beautiful stuff we've then got dead space 16.78% uh, on that one very nice everyone everyone knows dead space uh uh, that is the remake the one that is currently on ps plus i believe uh, we then got direct dead light director's cut which is 3.81 percent i um i've been keeping my eye on this one because there's a there's a physical copy of it in the shop next uh just down the road from me the case looks amazing we then got death mark now I don't know enough about the Deathmark games, but I own one of them, uh, and I know that it's like it, there's a lot of text, um, like you know, picking options, and I'm guessing that's why uh, it's ideal for a PS Vita. So fair play on that one. Deliver us the moon, nice. Dementium, the ward. Not no, not gonna lie, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, Demon Souls, beautiful. Uh, Doom Eternal, very nice, 5.45% on that one, 2.03% on the DLC. Uh, Dredge, of course, because it's a sea game, you know, I know there's, there's fishing and a lot of other stuff to it, but it just doesn't, doesn't really call out to me, but fair play on that one. Uh, Duke Nukem, very nice. Then these next two. chef's kiss not the games the platinums like the games the dying light the first one fantastic game brilliant i would have had this platinum had the quarantine zones not bugged on me i think if i remember right it's you have to clear all eight i had cleared all eight and i didn't get the trophy it sickened me and then dying light 2 is like i don't know how many hours it is exactly but i just know it's it's like triple digits if i remember right and nah it wasn't a good enough game to to hold my attention that long but those two 6.29 percent 0.74 on the dlc and a 5.34 percent and a 0.83 percent on the dlc on dying like two as well beautiful we've then got evil dead 3.68 nice uh, Evil West, a game that I've got one trophy in, and I just just bored me to be honest. Not saying it's a bad game; it's just my attention span just didn't hold out. Uh, then we got Phobia, Saint Diffner Hotel, a game that I own. I've never actually seen gameplay of it. I've got it physically, but I just never looked at it. Um, but you've got that one, sixteen point four percent, beautiful. Ghost of Tsushima, everyone knows what that is. Uh, Ghostbusters the video game fair play on this because I know that the is it the trophy where you have to do so little damage or like the cost of the damage that you do in each of the levels has to equate to less than a certain amount it's, apparently it's really hard to do so fair play on that um, then we got God of War God of War God of War 2 God of War 3 remastered nice 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 and nice We've then got Goosebumps, Dead of the Night. Again, another game I own physically, but I've never touched it or seen gameplay of it. So let me know what it's like down, down in the comment section. The reason why I've never looked into it is because I played Goosebumps the game and I hate this game with an absolute passion. I, I loved the books. The game itself can suck a fat one. <coughs> My throat's going. Uh, Gran Turismo 7, 9.14%. Very nice on that. Beautiful stuff. 
Graveyard Keeper, 14.2%, 2.49% on the DLC. Uh, Hades, brilliant game. Sickens me that it's nearly one in four have got the Platinum, um, especially as I'm so far from it. But I, I have been getting the urge to play it again though recently. Um, then we've got Happy Humble Burger Farm. No idea what that is. Uh, I hope it was a good game. Helldivers 2, very nice, 15.25%, 6 out of 10 difficulty. Uh, then we got Ikoi, I believe it's pronounced. I own this. I do not own this physically, but I know I've definitely had it in hand. I don't know what the game's like. Free hour, a free hour platinum, though. Doesn't sound too uh, difficult. Uh, in Sound Mind, beautiful stuff. I, I don't own this one physically, I own this one digitally, um, but I've never played it. Uh, it looks fantastic though. Uh, quite a high percentage though. Well, I'll say quite high. It's under 30, which is usually a good sign. Uh, Insomnis, no idea. And same with Just Ignore Them, no idea. Both quite high percentages. Killer Frequency next fantastic game you know radio show you know radio uh, tower or whatever it's called like a radio broadcasting tower it, it looks fantastic to be honest I, I need to play it myself uh this one i do own physically killing floor 2 <clears throat> 7.65 and the dlc 0.92 percent i think i said it a couple of videos ago it's not the hardest of platinums but it's uh a couple of very hard trophies. Uh, Lone Survivor, nice 4.56% on that one. Unreal. Uh, Manita, you know, ev everyone knows Manita by now. Uh, same with Metal Hellsinger. Uh, I was actually very shocked at how easy that Platinum was, especially if you put the Never Miss a Beat cheat on. But um, yeah, nice. We got the two Metros. Uh, Redux and Last Light, 12.58%, uh, 15.23%. We then got Night at the Gates of Hell, which I have no idea about, but 50% bang on, which suggests that it's a low played game, but at least half of you have uh, platinumed it. Uh, Nun Massacre, I've seen it around, I don't don't know what the gameplay is like, but 9.39%, and we're getting close to the, uh, to the ones I'm just going to ooze over in a second. Uh, Oxide Room 104, no idea, Pas Pasaf Pacific Drive, 9.6% on that one, so fair play and nice. Prey, fantastic game, 5.12 and the DLC, just to rub it in, 1.04%, I'm dying. Uh, Proteus, the, kind of reminds me of Doom, the movement in it, but brilliant game. 11.19 percent and then we got quake quake 2 quake being 4.77 percent very very nice remnant 2 a game that i am looking for someone to go uh, run through with to be honest uh all of my friends have already played it i sh i shouldn't have held off for as long as i did uh 20.67 percent on that 1.21 percent on the dlc and then we got the original remnant from the ashes 12.38% 1.45% DLC I'm going to take a drink before I uh, croak and yes I have been told that drinking uh, Pepsi Max uh, in the amount that I do isn't doing any, any favours to the throat I'm guessing it's the carbonation so, <clears throat> Resident Evil, holy shit dude, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Biohazard, Code Veronica X, Revelations, Revelations 2, and Village, every single one of them platinumed with the DLC, Hat comes off, chef's kiss, holy shit, clap in the way, 
fucking fantastic, mate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Every single one of them. Resident Evil games are fucking immaculate. Look, they are brilliant. Some of them are high percentages because they are that good. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 wasn't quite as good, but still decent. Um, obviously, these being the remakes. Uh, but, I mean, Resident Evil, the OG, 6.19% on that is unreal. Uh, then we go down to Resident Evil uh, Code Veronica X, 9.64. Revelations 8.70 and Revelations 2 3.08%. We'll end the video now. Just just that section. Like I, I, I'm happy. I can I can die happy now. I can croak. Alright, so then we move on to Returnal. Brilliant game. Uh, RNG trophies have put me off. Store for the second time in quite quick succession of lists. Quite a high percentage, even though it's a PS3 game, which is quite weird. Uh, serial Cleaner and Serial Cleaners. I'm, I have no idea what those are, um, but fair play. <clears throat> okay, so then we got Silent Hill 2 HD, Silent Hill 3 HD, and Silent Hill Downpour. Have you got this? Have you got these physically? Because if you have... I love you. Please send them me. I, I, I want, I want downpour specifically, physically, specifically, physically. Um, three point three eight on Silent Hill two, very nice. Fourteen point seven six on Silent Hill three, very nice. And then nine point eight two percent on downpour. Beautiful stuff. We then got the Callisto Protocol. Uh, beautiful. Didn't think it was. Uh, as bad as people were making out at first but also don't think it was as good as dead space then we got the chant um in truth i don't know much about this i've seen it around but i don't know uh the darkness 2 very nice 17.93 percent and i've just seen the next one the evil within and the evil within 2 fuck me man I am reviewing some absolute fucking goats here. 4.07%, 1.58% on the DLC. Of course, the, the infamous Akumu mode. Like, I could not do that. I, I know for a fact, if I attempted the Evil Within Platinum, I would die about 700,000 times before I eventually just called it quits and rolled over as an 80 year old man and died um if i lift that long uh evil within two as well brilliant 11.27 percent I, I i really enjoyed both of those and i am absolutely gutted that it looks like we won't be getting a third one but weirder things have happened the last of us part two remastered and the last of us remastered nice and nice 4.9 percent on the og 2.85% as well. The medium doesn't get as, as much love as it deserves. Uh, the quarry, uh, I wouldn't know how to explain it. I, kind of, when, whenever I see the quarry, I always think of Until Dawn. It kind of gives off the same vibe. I, I don't know. Uh, sinking, sh almost said it again from like m about two months ago. The sinking city. 16.35% on that. The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us, both Telltale games, beautiful stuff. Tormented Souls, obviously like a like an old school Resident Evil style game. Um, I brought that day one, physical, and I didn't play it very long. Not because I thought it was bad, I just I just lost interest in it. Then we got Until Dawn, uh, Vampire as well. Very shocked that that's so low, to be honest. 7.97%. Uh, Werewolf the Apocalypse. It had potential, but in the end, it just ended up being shockingly shit, to be honest, in my opinion. Uh, what Remains of Edith Finch. Beautiful game. Wolfenstein The New Order and Old Blood. Very nice, very nice. The two Wolfenstein Pro Platinums that I own. Uh, then we've got Yoni. This is the one that I've got on uh, Physical Edition. 
it's back there. It's definitely there. Um, never touched it. It's still in the cellophane. Uh, then we got Zombie. Very nice. 3.29% on that one. We've then got Zombie Army 4 Dead War. I have got so many of the trophies on this, but I still need like a lot. And I was meant to do it with a bigger YouTuber. And they basically ghosted me. I'm sure they, had, they must have had like other things on, but a little bit disappointed that that, that one never came to uh, fruition, but oh well. But fair play on the DLC as well, 0.92%. And then we got the Zombie Army Trilogy, 9.57%. And then, this has really shocked me. So I clicked on, I've done my little trick for the 100%. What the fuck? Only 100%, but Resident Evil 4 for the PS4, it says that it's only got 12 trophies and there isn't a platinum. Is that true? Or is this glitched? Like, I even clicked into it and it's got like 12 trophies and I'm just like shocked and I don't know what's going on. I thought it had a platinum. Like, I own Resident Evil 4, PS4 and PS5, but... I'm confused, but anywho, back up to the milestones. Oh, so <clears throat> first platinum was Call of Duty Vanguard. Tenth platinum was Dying Light Two, Stay Human. Twentieth platinum was Aliens Fireteam Elite. I mean, the thirtieth platinum was Demon Souls. 40th Platinum was Callisto Protocol. 50th Platinum was Resident Evil 4. I'm opening that. Just, I'm going to check that in a bit. Um, 75th Platinum was Bloodborne. What I mean by I'm going to check it in a bit is if that is that PS4 or PS5. Um, 100th Platinum was Silent Hill 2, uh, the HD collection, PS3. And your latest platinum was alone in the dark. Fair effing play. What a fantastic list. Mr. Nobody 88. Thank you so much for submitting it. I just I'm in awe. Horrors are clearly like your favourite style of game. Resident Evils, Silent Hills. Oh, just beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Evil Within's as well. Absolutely fantastic. So to everybody else, if you like that, make sure you're leaving it a like and subscribe if you aren't already. I don't usually ask. I probably should start asking uh, because apparently by asking, it helps. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want your trophy list to be reviewed, leave your name down in the comment section. I'll add you to the list that we are thankfully starting to smash through a little bit quicker now. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the continued patience and peace and love.